Hello, it's good to see you today. My wife and I have been cruising around in Brother Saad's German car. <laughs> <laughs> today is April 25th, and we just want to let you know that again, we're uh, being patient with the situation, and at the same time, we're making plans to move forward. Please pray for the deacons right now, and I will be continuing to uh, make plans how we're going to uh, get things started. Uh, hopefully soon. I know we're waiting for the governor to make one more announcement. Uh, that's going to be uh, very important for us to guide our decision. But I hope that you're using this time wisely and I hope that your hope is in God. One of the things that I many times experience when things go wrong is how unwise it is for us to hope in ourselves, to hope in our government, to hope in our abilities because they can be taken away so easily. But when we hope in God, we know that God ultimately always will accomplish his perfect will. And we'll use these kinds of situations actually to further his will and to increase his glory and honor. It may not always happen today or in the time frame that we want him to do it in, but God will ultimately have the final word and we know that's true. And God in this case will have the final word as well. So we ought, we ought to hope in the Lord. The Bible says in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. I know there's a tendency to get frustrated. I think we all feel that. I think we're all impatient at this time, but we have to, on purpose, not allow that to take over our thinking. The Bible says our soul ought to hope in the Lord. And that's all. Not in the Lord and, it's just the Lord. And we're going to do our best to move things forward. As I mentioned last week, we're probably gonna start with two services and just start with that on Sundays at 11 and one or probably we've been speaking about it, probably 11 and two. We'll let you know details when it gets closer and uh, you'll be able to sit with your family in church uh, together, the whole family. And then we'll just start eventually with Sunday school and junior church and nursery and choir and all the other ministries, bus ministry. But we do have to be careful and wise and balanced. And so again, uh, I wanna ask you to pray for us for wisdom and discernment. And um, we'll definitely keep you uh, in the loop as what's going on. I just wanted to encourage you to use those COVID tracks that we had made up. Um, there's been an incredible response to them. I know that folks have even called us asking for some more. We do have a few more. If you'd like some more, just reach out to us and we'll get, we'll get some to you. Uh, but it's really been a blessing. People are thinking about that at this time right now. And I believe for no other reason that we won't know till heaven why this is all allowed is because precious souls need to be saved. And I really believe that. So we love you all. We're praying for you and uh, pray for us. Thank you. So pray for us. We're going to take a ride in this thing now. I want to see what it can do. God bless you. Hi, so today we're going to show you how to share our videos from our Facebook page on your mobile device. So let's start off by going to our Facebook. Find your Facebook, open it up. Once it's open, go to the top right. There should be a search bar. Click on the magnifying glass and type in People's Baptist Church. Do make sure it's our church though in Clifton. Click on that. And there's our page. Scroll down to the video that you want to share. On every post, there's three dots at the top right. Click on that and yeah, click on that. And there's several options that pop up. In this 
first option, we're going to click copy link. And the link should copy to your device. Then you can go to whichever app or your messages that you want to share the link to. So in this case, let's try our messages first. So we'll go to our messages. And in the text box, press and hold and a little bubble should pop up above it that says paste. Click paste and the link that was copied to your uh, phone from Facebook should appear in the text box. And then you can send that to whoever you want. And we've successfully sent our link to our messages. Now let's try another way of doing this. We can also share it directly from our Facebook. On the post, there's a little box that says share at the bottom right. Click that and these should pop up. You can share it to your story or to your personal page, whatever. Um, but this time we're going to try go going down to the box that says more options and click that. And this allows you to share the link or share the video to any app on your phone. And so in this case, we have um, face, we have WhatsApp, we have email, we have a bunch of different apps that we could share this directly to. Um, in this one, we're going to choose WhatsApp. So let's click on WhatsApp. It'll open up your WhatsApp and it should appear like so. So from here, I'm just going to choose a person that I want to send it to. And then you're going to do the same thing. Uh, paste once you press it and then you can send it and there we go.